All right, well, we've got something exciting today. Um, I was in contact with Akash Dulani, who's the great Indian uh, solver and setter, um, and he's said that I could cover one of the puzzles from his new book that he just released, World of Sudoku, um, Volume 5. You can see here it is on Amazon. You can also get it on Payhip, I believe. And um, there are 120 uh, mathematical sudokus so it's all kinds of different variants you know like killers and little killers and um, average sudoku which is what i'm going to do today uh, and that does not mean just a plain old sudoku it means average in the mathematical sense um, and there's uh, different sudoku and ratios and all the usual mathematical type stuff um, that doesn't necessarily need mean that you need to be good at math to do these puzzles um, they're just you know addition subtraction multiplication division but it certainly helps to be good at math um so if you if you're not familiar with akash um he's a like i said an indian solver setter um he's set puzzles in for the asian sudoku championships the indian sudoku championships he's also um been uh you know to the world sudoku championships as part as a solver as part of a team so Definitely knows what he's doing, um, and I'm excited to try this puzzle. Oh, and in the book, uh, Akash has, um, they've all been test solved by um, Swaroop, uh, with a last name that I'm going to mispronounce, so G Googleum, Googleum, I don't really know, sorry. Swaroop, uh, Swaroop is the one that's uh, didn't start Penpa, but has been uh, behind a lot of the major improvements, especially on the Sudoku side of Penpa. So we can thank Swaroop for all that. But Swaroop tested all of the puzzles. And interestingly, in the book, it includes the times that Swaroop got on the puzzle. So you can kind of see how you can compare. And um, Now, obviously, Swaroop is also a good solver. So don't be surprised if your times are not as good as Swaroop. So um, it's not like that's a goal time. It's just kind of a fun thing to have in there. So all right. On to this puzzle, though. Um, oh, and before we get to the puzzle, one last thing. We are like two subscribers away from the 500 now. So any day now, I'm going to be releasing that puzzle hunt. So watch for some more information on that. All right, now on to this puzzle. This I just randomly scrolled through, and um, I thought average Sudoku sounded interesting. I've never done an average Sudoku. Uh, I've done lots of average Sudokus, but not... An average Sudoku, <laughs> if if you catch my meaning there, um, and this one I just kind of liked the the pattern here with the I thought it it actually kind of reminded me of a, a baseball field with the pitcher's mound and I'm not sure I guess this is the on deck circle and they only have a left fielder I don't know anyways it doesn't really work as a baseball field but the pattern just caught my eye so I thought eh I'll try this one why not so the way average sudoku works is it's pretty simple it's sort of like arrows in that you have circles and these digits on the connected lines are important but in average sudoku the circle is the average of all the digits on the connected lines so this circle is the average of these two cells and that's it that's all the that's all the rules and normal sudoku rules of course so um i'm gonna give it a try now link in the description as usual you get a, a little freebie from the book here um, we're going to reset our timer and start it and we'll see how it goes okay so i think these four are probably the ones to start with because they have the most restriction with the other digits in the boxes <clears throat> excuse me the other digits in the boxes so let's just start over here um so oh now I was about to, you know, I was just thinking, what could this be? Because it can't be two, four, or five. And I was about to say one, but actually it can't be a one. So there's a couple different ways to think about averages, right? So the way you kind of learn it in school is to take the average of something is you add them up and then divide by how many there are. And that's totally true. But another way to think about averages is there's sort of equally on both sides especially in these where we i guess in this one we only have two numbers for all the averages so this digit basically has to be directly in the middle of these two is kind of another way to think about it right um so if this is a five these two have to be equidistant from five they could be six seven 
uh, four. No, that's. <laughs> I immediately forgot how numbers work. If that was a five, it would have to be four, six, three, seven, two, eight, kind of equidistant away. Um, and so that's how I think of them. Um, that's how my brain works. Uh, so this cannot, none of the averages can be a one because for a couple different ways to look at it, but basically because you need a digit on both sides, right? And so you can't ever have a one in a circle is my point. Okay. Anyways, this can't be one. It can't be two. It could be three. Now three is, is fairly restricted. If you think about both sides kind of thing, because we can't use the two. So it would have to be one and the other digit on the other side would have to be five. Now, the other way to think about this is two times three is six. These two are going to have to sum to six. You can't do one, five, or two, four because of these. So that can't be a three. Can't be a four. Can't be a five. So it's six, seven, or eight. Now, for the same reason you can't have a one, you also can't have a nine. So, but if it's eight, your only options are nine and seven. And we've already got a seven here, so this can't be an eight. Now, if it's seven, we don't have a lot of options. So you could do five, nine, or six, eight. Can't be five, nine, so it would have to be six, eight. If it's six, um, now I'm gonna do this one the other way. So six times two is 12. So these two would have to sum to 12. Uh, so you'd have nine and three, which you can't do. Eight and four, you can't do. Seven and five, you can't do. So this can't be six. Now the other way to think about that, of course, is with six you can have five and seven, four and eight, three and nine. I mean, it's it's the same thing. It's just a different way to kind of picture it in your head. So this has to be seven with a six eight. Nice. I didn't know if we'd be able to get that down to just one option. All right, let's try the one on the other side now, because it's now restricted by that as well. So it can't be one. It could be two. Oh, but if it's two, it's gonna have to have one and three, which it can't do. So it can't be a two. Three, four, five, six six, eight, so it can't be seven, we can't be nine, like we said, eight would need seven and nine, six, okay, we're back to the same thing, so it's multiple, it's two things that add up to 12, can't be nine, three, can't be eight, four, can't be seven, five, so it's seven, nine with an eight, very nice, hmm, now do we go to the middle, I'm going to look at these two first, just because those were so helpful, the middle is getting much more restricted now with those digits in there. But, uh, all right, let's see. This 7, can it be 7, though? It would have to have an 8 or a 9 because you need a digit on both sides. So it can't be 7. can't be 9, 8, and 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, I think. 2 would need 1 and 3. 3 would need 1 and 5. can't be 2, 4. One three one five four would need three five, and five would need uh, well you'd have to have a digit that's bigger than five, and you can't use six seven eight or nine, so it can't be five. So these are from one three and five somehow. They're either one three one five or three five. That's interesting. Um, but that wasn't as helpful. All right, let's look at this one. I suspect we're going to need to go to the middle, but. Let's just try this. So three, four, five, six, and eight. Oh, there's a lot of options there. Okay, three would need uh, one, five, or two, four, which we can't do because of the one and the two. Four would need, no, we can't do four because it's going to need one, seven, two, six, or three, five, and we've got those all there. So this can't be four. Five, one, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six. Can't be five. Oh, wow. I didn't think this one was going to be helpful at all, and now it's being very helpful. Eight needs seven and nine, which you can't do that. So this is a six, which then means, um, so we're back to the things that sum to 12 again. So nine and three, eight and four would work. Uh, it would have to be in this order because of this eight. Seven, five, we can't do seven, five. So that's a six with a four and an eight. Okay, should we look at the middle one now? Actually, actually, let's, we're down to just three options in each of these. Let's just see what that does. 
This can't be a three. Oh, and this one can't be a three. Look at that. We get. Uh, I don't think we can figure those. Okay, let's look over here. One, two, and six. This one can't be two, and this one can't be two or six. So we get a one, a six, a two. That six gives us the six and the eight, and the one gives us the one and the nine. And the oh, I was gonna say the nine gives us the seven and the nine, but it does not. No, we still don't have those. All right, let's look up here. Three, five, and nine. This one can't be nine or three, so it's five. Very nice. Can we get those? I don't think so. And this one down here. Oh, uh, no. Mm. No, we still can't restrict this one anymore, can we? Okay. Now I'm going to look in the middle because we've got two, three, and six across here. Two, six. This can't be six, so that's a six. Two and three. Okay. So two would need one and three on the outsides. And we can't use the three because this is a two, three pair. So this has to be the three, two. Now this needs one, five, or two, four, and it can't be two, four. So it has to be one, five, which have to be in that order because of the one there. This can't be a one. That can't be a five. This can no longer be a three. Three, so it's now either two with a one three or four with a three five, which are both still possible, I think. Uh, let's look. What do we need in here? Four, seven, eight, and nine. These cannot be eight, so there is a four in there. These cannot be four. There is an eight in there. Ah, uh, oh, this can't be seven. This can't be 8. So this is 8. The 8 down here gave me that. Okay, it's 4, 7. Oh, this one can't be 9. Uh, so we've got 2, 4, and 7, I think, for the column. And this one can't be 2 or 7 because of the row. So it has to be a 4. Which gives us the 2. That makes this 1 and 3. That 3 is going to give us the 9 and the 3. The 9 gives us 4, 7, 9, 7, 9. 5 and 7, I believe. Now let's look. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. We got all of the, <laughs> the boxes kind of in the cross shape. Uh, so in the column here, we need 3, 4, 5, and 8. This can't be five, eight, three. Yeah, that wasn't very helpful. Let's look at this row. Five, six, eight, and nine. Whoa, what am I doing? Ah, hitting all kinds of wrong buttons. Five, six, eight, and nine. This can't be five. Five or eight. This can't be six. Okay, maybe this row. One, two, seven, nine. This can't be two. One, two, seven. One, two, four, five. This can't be two. This can't be one, two, five. Okay, so did I miss any removals there? Let's double check. Eight, two, six, five, seven, seven, three, eight, five, two, four, six, one, three, five, two, four, seven. Okay, I think I think that's correct then. So now, let's look at these in the corners. They're a little bit restricted because we can't use any of these. So this, as we said, this can't be one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so it's three or eight. Look at that. And three uh, would need one, five, or two. Uh, no, the eight, seven, nine. I, I was going to say the three needs is restricted because of the two, but actually it could be one, five. But the eight needs a seven, nine on the outside, and this can't be seven, nine. So this is the three. These are not three. And these are now one, five, or two, four, and they can't be two, four, so they have to be one, five in that order. This is not a one now. Uh, one, five. Oh, the five gives us four, and eight, and nine, and six, and seven. That was very helpful. These can no longer be six or nine, so they are eight and five. This cannot be a five or a four because of the four over here. This can't be one. 
So we've got three and nine in the row, and two, four, six for the row. This can't be two or four, so it's a six. Uh, the one here gives us that. This can't be nine anymore. This one can't be seven anymore. There we go. Okay, let's look at this one up here. So, one, so two, four, six, seven. Oh, that one's got a lot of options. Uh, well, it can't be two because you need one and three. And you got one and three already there. Okay, too many options. Let's see, maybe we can do something with some Sudoku. What do we got in our column here? This is one, seven, and eight. This one can't be seven, that one can't be one. And this column is two, four, and nine. This one can't be two, that one can't be nine. So this can't be four, because we've got two, four, nine, and one, seven, eight. So this can't be eight either, this has to be five and three so this is not five two four oh, so now we have a two four pair giving us the five here very good the two four pair in the row also takes a four out of there so this is six seven eight and it can't be six seven because the six seven down below this one can't be an eight the eight gives us seven and six and that seven gives us one and eight and that one gives us the nine. Uh, the nine comes back over here. Two, four, nine, seven, two. We've got, well, the eight and the six, so it's got to be a four. Because the eight is two to one side of the six, so the other one has to be two to the other side. Um, this is a one. This is a three, four, two, nine. Solution is correct. Congratulations. All right. That was fun. I'd never done um, an average Sudoku before, and that was a neat idea. Um, it kind of reminds me of arrows in that you're saying, you know, these digits combine somehow to give you the digit on the circle, but instead of adding them, you're taking the average. So interesting. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, the other interesting thing is, compared to the arrow Sudoku, is you can never put a one in a circle in average Sudoku, or in Aero Sudoku. Well, that's not true, actually. In fact, I wonder, so this is the first one I've done like this, and they're all two cell averages, but I suppose you could do something like, um, if this was a circle, you could draw the line up there. Because the average of a single digit is just itself, right? So, just like arrow Sudoku, if you put the circle here and drew the arrow diagonally up to that next cell, they would just be clones. So I suppose you could put a one in a circle if it was a one, you know, a length one. But anyways, there you go. That was Average Sudoku uh, number five by Akash Dulani um, from his new book, World of Sudoku. So go check out his book. I'll leave links in the description to where you can find it on Amazon and PayHip and all that jazz. Um, and thanks to Akash for uh, letting me do one of the puzzles from your new book. That was exciting. So I'll see you guys again soon with another puzzle and probably a puzzle hunt very soon. Thanks. Bye.